In June of 2018, multiple researchers uncovered how attackers could use a decade-old browser vulnerability called DNS rebinding to attack IoT devices. This new use of DNS rebinding has a significant impact on businesses. It can allow attackers to circumvent firewalls and security products to gain a foothold inside the enterprise perimeter. Armis estimates at least half a billion devices used in enterprises today could be exposed, including smart TVs, surveillance cameras, digital assistants, and even IP phones and office printers. Here's how a DNS rebinding attack on IoT devices works. First, an attacker abuses the trust model between a user's browser and the outside world. A user goes to a website like worldsportscores.com to get the World Cup scores. This site may host HTML ads that might be running malicious JavaScript. This malicious site runs a JavaScript on the user's local browser, which isn't picked up as malicious by the firewall, network security products, or even endpoint protection. Next, the attacker uses JavaScript to issue new HTTP requests. And through DNS rebinding, he tricks the browser into sending these requests to internal IP addresses. Once this happens, the attacker can use the browser as a proxy to scan the local network for the presence of IoT devices. The browser sends back a list of what it found, and now the attacker can access these IoT devices and send back commands to it, just as if it were a trusted endpoint on the user's local network. Without encryption, and by using the default passwords found on most devices, the attacker can log into the device's administrative console and even take over the device leveraging vulnerabilities in the device's web server, or issue commands to the device as if the attacker were on the same network. Once on the IoT device, the attacker can establish an outbound connection. With that kind of access, an attacker could seize control of surveillance cameras to access or steal data, see and capture video from inside the enterprise, perhaps even credential access, or use the device as a starting point to move laterally across the enterprise network. Also, the attacker can add the camera to a botnet for a more widespread attack as we saw with the Mirai IoT attack in 2016. Learn more about how Armist can help protect your business from attacks like these. Visit armist.com today.